Hello everyone! I've been studying about this new drawing style or technique and uh, I like how it turned out. It's uh, semi-realistic and a bit expressive as you can see with the lighting. If you want to learn about this new technique, watch this whole drawing video. I think this is the first time that I'm featuring this technique here on my channel. This is a combination of uh, quite unlikely materials like uh, here I use uh, pastel pencil which is the Stabilo Carbothello which I normally draw using this uh, pastel pencils on a different kind of paper which is the sanded paper but here I'm using it not all the colors because this is a newer technique but uh, yeah you can use any pastel pencil brand uh, I use a different kind of paper for my pastel pencil which is the Strathmore mixed media toned tan paper because when I use pastel pencils I always use as you can see if you have been following my channel I use it on sanded paper but sanded papers can be very hard to find and can be very expensive uh, so uh, and here I'm using pastel pencil which is a bit expensive also but I'm, I'm not using all the colors that uh, you can find with your uh, set of pastel pencils actually I'm using only four colors on this particular technique which is uh, I call it uh, what can I call it I call it like a low saturation drawing technique or you can say uh, maybe monochromatic which is something that you can use using pastels but you don't use a lot of colors actually it is just black and white like what I'm using here which is the black for my first part of this drawing my first step is to block in the shadow so I use the black and uh, as you can see here, the, the tone of the paper is really nice. You will see how it will uh, create a very nice uh, kind of saturation, very low saturation uh, using this new technique. This, this technique is uh, uh, very easy to do, but uh, you, you just need to know how to blend everything, how to mix everything here. Actually, you don't need to worry about picking the colors because I'm going to be using only four colors the black and the white and the two colors that you will see uh, towards the end of the video but I don't want you to skip to that end of the video because I want you to see how I block in the shadows this process the blocking in of the shadow is very important and uh, speaking of the paper this is the Strathmore mixed media toned tan paper which provides a very nice light tan tone which is perfect for uh, for any color uh, medium you can use it for with colored pencils as well but uh, here i'm using pastel pencils so this is a bit different from the colored pencils because uh, here the application is very light so you don't need to push hard on the pencil even the blending the blending is also uh, very very light as you can see here i'm using my blenders the blue one that one is the foam applicator for pan pastel and i'm using makeup brushes big and small like this one this is uh, my favorite this is literally a makeup brush so uh don't be shy going on your makeup stores and get this one this i think i, I don't th maybe this is used for the eyeshadow i don't know i don't know uh then i'm erasing so this is a combination of the usual process which is layering blending and then erasing and then layering again until you're satisfied with uh, the shadow that you are creating here i'm using pure black the black carbotello black pastel pencil this is not charcoal this is pastel pencil which is surprisingly is very smooth as you can see here very easy to blend um, and uh, maybe the tooth of the paper also helps because this is a vellum surface which is grainy enough to hold the pastel pencils but that is the reason why I'm not gonna be using a lot of colors because this is not a sanded paper it will not hold many layers of pastels so I'm using only four the black the white the uh, okay i'm gonna say the dark brown and then the maroon um color so here you just uh, do the combination of layering blending and then erasing uh we are erasing because we want to make it in the highlights later on to make that to make it clean okay so as you can see pastel pencils is a uh, very very easy to smudge that's why i'm not pushing hard on my blenders my brushes very light blending because i don't want to lose some of the details that i'm adding by the way i'm not yet adding a lot of uh, uh, little details here because i just want to build on my shadow so now this is the dark brown uh, you can use any dark brown it doesn't matter because this is uh, monochromatic so as long as it is a dark brown whether it is chocolate brown or burnt sienna or whatever um just pick 
just pick a very very dark brown again this is pastel pencils this is not colored pencils this is not charcoal all even the black is pastel pencils now i i use pastel pencils on sanded paper because uh, it can hold the pastels very well so here this is not a sanded paper so i'm not gonna be using a lot of colors and the technique is low saturation technique as you can see here um it is just been black and this dark brown and uh you can see I, I like how the effect of a very low saturation technique on the drawing uh, it's, it's a bit dramatic at this stage because uh, well what I do is uh, my reference photo is colored what I do is I edited my reference I lower the saturation into a very very low saturation level of the, the, the reference photo so I don't have to use a lot of colors just monochromatic uh, here the dark brown and then this one this is the maroon I think uh, this is the burnt sienna. Um, you can use any of this kind of tone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the burnt sienna. You can use any maroon uh, tone or color to it. As you can see, uh, it's it's going to be the last pencil actually, or oh, second to the last because the last is the white. So here I'm adding a very little bit of saturation on the skin tone. So this technique is very easy to do. You don't need to worry about adding a lot of colors because uh, uh, the effect that we want here is a bit more like an expressive, a more emotional technique as uh, you can see here. So my needed eraser, I, I need it to clean some surfaces, some areas where I will put the highlights uh, later on. So I'm cleaning it with this uh, uh, needed eraser and this, this is my favorite eraser one of my favorite eraser this is the mono zero rubber eraser because this is, has a very fine uh, rubber eraser and uh, you can use it for small details as you can see here even if we are using a toned paper it's uh it's, it's really nice to create details using this so i ran out of the the eraser so i'm just gonna replace it right here this uh replacement can last very very long so i think it's been a year when i uh change my uh, eraser so uh, now i'm gonna be adding some tiny details i'm going back with the black and now my favorite part uh, using the white pastel of the stabilo carbothello uh this is going to actually uh if you want you can uh, stay with just the tone of the paper for the highlights but i want to make it a little bit more deeper using the white um uh, it's gonna make the drawing uh, more three-dimensional because uh, it's gonna increase the what do you called it contrast of uh, the skin tone or the, the drawing the lighting is going to be a little bit more dramatic as you can see we want to capture the light on this part of the face so uh, obviously the light is coming from the top right side of uh, the face which is can be easily captured by this white uh, stabilo carbothello pastel pencil so uh, you can try this technique i really really recommend it with you to try it to practice doing it because uh, it has a different look a different style to it that i really like so uh here this is the final result of this technique um thank you for watching please subscribe don't forget thank you thank you very much